What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial. Um, it's going to be on the Gimmicka Modic controller for PS4 on the DualShock 4. I just got it in the mail yesterday so I've only gotten to play with it a little bit and I gotta say it's pretty legit. Just the setup on this thing in general and the paint job and the gold buttons is awesome. Uh, real quick view. You see that you got the skulls, it's got dead head on there, it's all around. On the back of here, all done. Right here, you can barely see it, but that's where your mod button's gonna be. And that's how you're gonna be able to activate and deactivate all the mods that you wanna turn on with this. Again, it's pretty cool, you can get it with the gold buttons without it. I'm not sure if they have any of these ones left, but they have a lot of cool paint jobs. And uh, they're pretty quick at shipping as well. I think this, this was only $139.99 and uh, free shipping. With this controller, they send you a disc with the PDF on how to operate it. And it's actually pretty user friendly, even if you don't know much about electronics. But it gives you your uh, typical stuff like rapid fire and uh, burst rapid fire. You can get... Um, Kimbo rapid fire on here, hybrid, hybrid optic rapid fire, which isn't available yet, but it'll they'll release an update for it. The thing I like the most is the drop shot and the jump shot. I don't really use a jump shot, but the drop shot's pretty cool. And if I had to say so, I don't think this really affects your KD and how you're gonna play. You will need a little bit of adjustment, and it doesn't really make you a better player. It just gives you a little bit of an edge, I would say, as far as the jump shot and the drop shot goes. The rapid fire, when you put that on a sniper rifle, it's unstoppable. Um, so again, I'm gonna go through a real quick private match. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that they can do on here and see if you like it. Let me know. All right, so we're gonna go through a quick private match here. I don't get to set up my custom guns, but you can still, it doesn't matter what gun you have as far as the mod goes. This is going to be on prison break, obviously. Um, I'll start off with the sniper rifle just to show you guys the rapid fire. And as far as um, a variable zoom sniper rifle goes, you can activate a mod that will automatically hold your breath. You can turn a mod on that will quick scope for you. You can turn in a fast reload mod, although I have to be honest, I haven't gotten the fast reload mod to work properly on me. Um, it kind of does some weird thing where it doesn't reload and then I have to hold in the mod button and the reload button to get it to reload. So right here I'm going to start off with the MR28, it's a marksman rifle. I have a uh, drop shot on. And I have uh, rapid fire. And as you can see, I can zoom in. There's your rapid fire. And I dropped as I shot. Even if I zoom in, I'm dropping right here. Now, if I want to turn drop shot off to where I can zoom and it won't drop me, you can do that. It's up to you. It's rarely a preference thing. So whatever gets you. I like to be able to drop just because it gives you an edge as far as the player is going to aim up top and you're going to drop down low so it gives you a better opportunity to get the kill first. Um, same thing with pistols. The rapid fire is turned on. It just keeps going. Whereas if I didn't have the rapid fire on you would notice that it would just keep shooting. So pretty cool. Again it doesn't give you much of an edge but I think it's well worth it. Uh, that's if you have the extra money to spend. Don't go out and blow $140 on this thing if you uh, can't afford it. But the paint job alone uh, is well worth the money. Um, another thing you can turn on, which I don't have uh, unlimited sprint on, so it doesn't really help me here. But I do have an unlimited sprint mod, whereas I can sprint and I don't have to hold it in. He'll just sprint for me. And I'm not really working my thumb as hard as I would be. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. Not too hard, easy to get a concept of. Once you get used to the drop shot, you'll, uh, you'll definitely be a better player. But again, it takes some time to get used to. I really haven't gotten used to it yet. All right. All right, so that was a quick tutorial. Again, this is a Gimmicka Mata controller. 
You can find this on uh, Amazon. They uh, they operate out of Florida. I ordered this and it came in two days, and that was including a Sunday. So they're pretty good. I had to contact them about uh, a request as far as my gold buttons, uh, and they were quick and prompt, and the problem got solved pretty quickly. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks.